Hey guys, Chicken Ninja here for Unofficial Call of Duty, and in this video we're going to be talking about the interactive maps on Call of Duty Ghosts. There was a big hype about the maps being dynamic, so I thought I would show you what you can do to change the map dynamics. And the first map we have is Chasm, and we have this bus hanging off the edge of the cliff, chuck an explosive, and one of the carriages will fall off. Enemies can be in there and they'll fall to their death. And the next spot we have is an elevator which allows you to get from one side to the other, shoot the wires and it will drop down a the floor. Then chuck an explosive and it will get rid of the elevator completely. And again the enemies will fall to the death if they're inside. Let's head downstairs quickly. You can still make the jump coming from this side, but if you try and make it this way you can't get over. Now we have flooded. There's not too much on this map to be honest. You got a sinking van here. You stand on it too long and then it comes back up. And then if you head this way, you got a bus which also sinks. If you're quick, you can run over a jump and get onto this walkway. But then if you stay on it too long, it sinks down and you can't jump up. And this bus also comes back up. Next map we have is freight. There's quite a few for freight. You have this ladder you can't get up, but if you just shoot it, a couple of bullets will make it drop down and climb up. It's a quick way to get to the top of this building. And then you have some good vantage points across the railway. You can get back down with those steps. Once the ladder's been shot down once, then it won't go back up for the rest of the game. Now every main building has a door which is closable from the inside and the outside. So that's there. And then the middle building on this side of the track. This door. And the final building on this side is the one that's close to the rail. Again it can be open from both inside and outside. Then we have a gate here, if you just shoot the gate it takes you to an underground passage which you can walk through and then it will take you to the other side of the railway track and again there's a door here that you can close and again it can be open from this side there's one button here, and also if you go upstairs, there's a button here on this post, and that opens that door, or closes it. And then in this building, final one, you have the button here on the pallet, and that closes that. And there's a button to open it. Now I was hoping that this thing would fall down if you put an explosive on it, unfortunately it doesn't. Right then we have octane. Now this is my now this is probably my favourite one. Chuck a grenade there, you can get in and get a free care package. So far not many people know about this and I seem to get the care package almost every time we play Octane. You can also, if you don't want to use your explosive, you can hold X on 360 and then it'll breach the door and also fall in. Then we have the petrol station, shoot this pump till it explodes and then the and then the roof will fall down and then it gives you a good vantage point to shoot shoot from while still being undercover then we have if you climb up here we have a couple of explodable walls again you can chuck a, an explosive on the wall or on the ground it gives you some good viewpoints to take out to take out the enemy then if you come across the little bridge again it's exactly the same you can hold X to breach it if you don't have any explosives or you don't want to use it and then you can shoot here good lines of sight across the map Another thing that changes is that 
you can jump up here and get in this hole if if that's been exploded. One thing you might want to note is if you put an explosive on the wall here, it doesn't explode. So what you have to do is you have to put it down at the bottom and now make sure it blows up. And also if you shoot this other pump, it will also make the the roof fall down. The next level we have is overload and this is the B building. If you hold here, it closes each of the doors. Now these doors can't be opened from the outside. So you can just go up here and with the doors closed it will protect you a little bit more when you're trying to capture in B. Then we have prison break. This is a very popular area up here. Normally what you'd have to do is run over here, run over this bridge. What you can do is shoot this tree, fall down and then you can go up. Again it's a very busy area, high traffic. And then there's one more spot on this map. You have these logs here. Basically, at the moment they're blocking your view to that ledge up there. What you can do is chuck an explosive here. The logs will fall down. And then it will give you good cover. You can duck down, go prone. But then you can still see up there. You can take, pick people off there. Next map we have a siege. Inside the mine, there's a little office. You can get to it either on this minecart or go around here. Little office area. And then on the wall, your little button. Press that. Head outside. And you'll see this little train is moving. Not really much you can do with it. Moves fairly slowly. Doesn't run anyone over. You can't get hurt can't climb up the ladder you can jump on top of it hitch a ride but that's pretty much it that's all I found for Siege next we have Stonehaven again there's only one thing really this is portcullis if you shoot it it drops down stops the pathway so you, what you can do is you can run around here or you have to run around this way to get outside and then round the back as well and just so you can see if you shoot the portcullis it will kill an enemy if they're underneath it then we have stormfront this is probably one of the worst ones you got a lift press the button it'll come up but you can just jump down either side really not only can you jump down, but when you go down, see how long it takes. You can also climb up this way as well. So, no point in using the lift, but if you want to, you can. Also, it takes forever, so I've speeded up the footage just so. And believe it or not, this is speeded up. And that's it for Stormfront. Next one we have is Tremor. Now, what we have is this ladder up here. You can get up, but it's a bit tricky sometimes. So what you can do is you can push this dumpster along just by walking into it and then you can press A to climb it and get up the ladder easily. And then there is another dumpster this way and again you can push it just by walking into it and it will give you some cover. You can also peek out, you can lean out and this is quite a high traffic area up there and then there's an event, there's an earthquake a little pole sticks up and a little fire from a gas main not much, if you wait about 30 seconds the gas goes out and you can shoot it, relight it another thing that happens is a lamp post falls down on a car again doesn't change the map very much and then here you can see shooting the shooting the gas makes it relight. 
And the final one we have is Warhawk, just two spots quickly. Got this door here, you can put an explosive or breach it. And then you can run through there. And then across the street is a gate that's closed, but if you shoot it, it opens up. And that's it. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, comment and subscribe. We also have another couple of videos. One is about satcoms and the minimap. And the other is about field orders and how to achieve each of them. Alright guys, thanks for watching.